Hey everybody, Nellie Mack with Sapphire Star Codes here. And I wanted to go live and make a video about something very important that came to my attention today. And I understand now so much more of the energy that's been coming in and how I've been feeling. And I wanted to share this information with you all and then to offer a free gift that I feel will help us all facilitate this energy coming in. So, um, I got this really cool link from a friend and um, this link was all about the golden bridge and the 1111 portal that's coming up. So um, starting on the full moon on October 31st, we're entering this cycle of the golden bridge. And this is going to lead to, I think it's about two weeks up to on um, this 1111 portal on November 11th. And this is actually a Scorpio portal as we're moving from Libra into Scorpio. And as we all know, like that Scorpio is about the shadow side, the shadow self, purging old emotions and things like that. So it's going to get very intense. So what's going to happen is that the earth right now, we're transitioning from 3D to 5D. And we're kind of like in this this weird transition of being in both. And um, it feels like there's a lot of chaos going on because it is, because both of these dimensions are existing together. So what we really have to do starting um, October 31st is settling in and remaining very balanced and calm. And um, this, this golden bridge that's coming in is all about letting go of our um, like old past fears, old stories that we keep replaying and holding on to when we really need, need to dig deep into our DNA and ancestral healing and let a lot of this junk go and clear it out. So um, while this portal is like coming and we're going through it, we are working up to this, this beautiful place where we can adjust our timeline and we can create new experiences that we can manifest into our life. So this is a very beautiful time. It may feel very painful. It may feel very chaotic, but it's going to like turn into this beautiful experience for us if we can just settle in and learn and um, get rid of the old lessons and past um, stories that we've been dealing with. So like in a way, I think it's like super exciting, even though it could be kind of painful. But um, what we can do to accelerate this is to, um, I'm really excited about this, is to bring in the phoenix. And you know, the story of the phoenix, it's a flaming bird that lives for a certain amount of time and then um, basically goes up in flames and into ashes and dies. And then a, a new one is born out of those ashes. So this is like, you know, complete transmutation of the old and birth into the new, um, creating out of chaos, which is what we're coming up to. And um, as this, like, this beautiful phoenix rises out of its own ashes and creates its new self, we each have that chance to do that during this beautiful um, golden bridge and 1111 portal. The main thing is going to be to surrender and to let go and just allow this process to happen. So how are we going to do that? So well, the main thing is we're not, we shouldn't give in to these frequencies and vibrations, these lower ones of fear, separation, and anger. And I know that there's a lot of that going all over surrounding so many issues right now, but we really have to like pull into our heart space. And every time we're triggered, every time we feel like angry or like someone's coming at us, we have to settle into our heart space and look at every other single person with love. And, um, definitely calling upon God and the angels to assist us in this healing and this beautiful transformation because they can do so much to help us. Um, let's see, don't allow yourself to be triggered. If you, if you're feeling that instant, I'm angry, that person is wrong. Step back, go into your heart space, view everything with non judgment, which can be super hard, but I believe we can do it. And knowing that each of us all have our own standpoints and viewpoints that we're, we're looking at everything by doesn't mean I'm wrong. It doesn't mean you're wrong. It means we're on our journey and we all have a different reality. So always going into your heart space when you're feeling triggered, when you're feeling pulled and you're feeling angry or fearful, go into your heart space. 
also remember that the more intense that this chaos gets and the energy gets because it's going to get chaotic okay more chaotic the more intense it gets the more this phoenix is going to manifest in your life and it's going to be beautiful beautiful energy so choosing love over fear is our main topic here always always viewing everything with love dropping into your heart space when you get triggered um, going within non-judgment okay so these are all super important now um i was so excited and so like this whole message resonated with me when i read it today and i was literally in the middle of making some new codes for spirit animals it was my like first attempt at doing this and my guys were like get up get busy start making this and i had no clue why i was just like this is just kind of odd well i was um literally just finishing up some spirit animal codes when this came through and I'm like oh my gosh we need we need a phoenix code so um I put together this phoenix code now for those of you who do not know about my codes and how they work my codes are like energy healings or energy vibrations that I bring in and I streamline into a beautiful simple healing so that the average person can use this in their everyday life and it's very simple most of my codes, you just call in by the name of the code and that energy starts working on you and you receive that healing. This code um, is the first code that I have created as a visual code. So all you're going to have to do is to look at this, this picture and you will just accept the healing as you're looking at it and that energy will, will be coming in for you. So um, I made this um, as a just as a small picture and I infused the Phoenix code onto it. So all you'll have to do is print it off. Like I printed it off like on a four by six with my printer and um, you can print it off on a regular sheet of paper and cut it down to size or you can just like save this image on your phone. And um, each day just look at the image and accept the healing. So um, let me tell you a little bit about what this does. And my, my guides have made it very clear that we need to start like using this energy now. Don't wait till October 31st. Because as we um, call in energy and we start energizing our body, the more we call in a specific energy, the more it just stays around us. And to where it becomes this um, beautiful place where you don't even have to call it anymore or as often, okay? So it just becomes a part of your energy. So this Phoenix Code, um, it em it also has in it my love code and my surrender code, which are super important right now. So I've added those into there. So the love code um, clears old karma, old um, lower energies, entities connected with you not feeling loved or at times when you didn't feel loved. Um, it also um, connects you with the divine matrix, which is like to God and um also goes out as a galactic scale. So you're like connecting with every beautiful being and this raises your vibrations, okay? And so then the surrender code helps you to surrender to the divine and to the flow and to kind of let go and let the divine work for you. So these are both really beautiful codes that I've put into this code. So it's going to um, specifically assist like with balancing of your yin and yang, your dark side, your light side. Um, it's going to help you to leave the 3D and to move into the 5D. Um, help you to stay in peace and love. Let me see here. Rising above um, your instincts and your aggressions, which is so easy right now to get caught up into. Seeing the bigger picture soaring above the chaos with discernment so it's like an eagle you're going to be like soaring above and you're going to be going okay i see all of this happening but what does it have to do with me do i need to get entangled do i need to get involved or should i just back up and just take care of myself it's going to transmute the old and the past and it's going to birth and manifest the new in your life it's going to help you to recreate yourself as you're dying in these flames you're going to be coming out in this most beautiful, beautiful new you. It's going to bring inner peace, like I said, surrender and letting go. And um, crossing the golden bridge that is coming. It's going to facilitate all of that happening. And um, calling in the phoenix as a spirit animal for you right now 
to just bring in this beautiful, beautiful energy. So, um, also, um, I want to talk about a couple crystals that you can use to bring in the Phoenix energy into your life. Okay. So, sodalite and green calcite, labradorite, angelite, um, rutilated quartz, carite, Apache tears, carnelian, and moss agate. And these would be beautiful um, stones to start incorporating in your everyday life. Put it in a pocket, put it beside your bed, somewhere around your house as we're waking up to this beautiful cycle that's coming. And um, I will um, attach this image um, with the video so that you may um, print it off or save it to your phone to use. And this is totally free as my gift to everybody. And I ask that you share this and get this out there so that everybody can experience this and have this beautiful support during this time that we're working up to. And let's see. I also, um, if you want to learn more about how to use the codes or just have questions, I will put my link for um, my Facebook page and my um, Facebook group where I run healings and my codes each week for my, um, my peeps to try. And I am just asking that this blesses everybody who um, watches it and everybody who uses my code. And um, just, just to always remember that we're in this together and that we're all connected and we're all a part of the divine and that we can get through whatever is happening in this world if we just keep spreading love and keep surrendering to this whole process that's happening so that we can all move into the 5D. And I am just so excited to see um, how everybody's life looks on the other side of this um, Golden Bridge 1111 portal. And I hope that all of you just have a beautiful day and thank you for watching.